is what it will enter into you. I come to your house, Jesus the Savior. I come to your house with heart full of joy. I come to your house with this day in your house. Your blessings are bound. Jesus will save you. I come to your house with a full of joy. I come to your house. Jesus will save you. In your house, your blessings are bound. Ebenine chine ke no, oneme hito na ya. Ebenine chine ke no, okongo juru na ya. Abanina chine kemna, okongo juru maya. Abanina chine kano, onemi to naya. Abanina chine kano, okongo juru naya. Abanina chine kemna, onemi to naya. Abanina chine kemna, okongo juru Ongoden <laughs> Onemi tonanya, abani ne chine keno. Okongo jurumanya. Abani ne chine keno. Onami Tonaya, Abanina Chine Keno, Okongo Jurunaya, Abanina Chine Keno, Abanina Chine Keno, Okongo Jurunaya, Abanina Chine Keno, Onami Tonaya, Abanina Chine Keno, Okongo Jurunaya, Chine Keno. When the spirit of truth comes, he will teach you all truth, says the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We have gathered once again to adore the Trinity, to adore the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. The Mass we are celebrating this night is the votive Mass of the Holy Spirit. What it means is that we are celebrating this Mass in thanksgiving to the person of the Holy Spirit and declaring and asking him to come and take the stage. For him to come and take absolute control, whatever that we are going to do. As the Son, our Lord Jesus, the Savior, has climbed the altar to celebrate again, 
to release the efficacy of the sacrifice of Calvary. That in he, the Holy Spirit, whom God the Son promised us as a, he ascended, that he will come and be with us this night. We are welcoming him in a special way. We are asking him to come and help us. We remember the word of God in John chapter 15 verse 5. That apart from you, there is nothing we can do. Holy Spirit, we are involving you and asking you to come and celebrate with us. Charge this environment. Is there anything here that is not of you? I am asking you to come and do away with those things. Is there anything in our destiny that is not of you? Holy Spirit, we plead with you this night to come and take it away. As we have gathered, there are so many children of God who have requested for my prayer. There are those who have booked masses with me. I remember in a special way the family of Frederick Idoko, Miss Lovina Idoko. I remember Obonna, Mwachuku Emmanuel, and the family. I remember Uchena Samson Nen and her children, wherever they are. The family of Matthias Asali for divine intervention and repentance. I remember all the people of God who oh, have booked mass asking for prayer. I remember the family of Miss and Mrs. Joshua Ega that the good work the Lord has started in their family, may he bring it to completion. Father, many of them have called for prayer. Your children are here not only with their own problems, but the problem of other people who have asked them to pray for them. I bring your intentions and the intentions of this family. This is your friend before the altar where our Lord Jesus, the Savior, is celebrating. Any case that is concluded here is finally concluded. Any case the demon or your foe enemy has concluded upon your life, whatever they have said upon your life, whatever they have concluded upon your life, have they written dead? Have they changed your name from life to death, from joy to sorrow, from happiness to frustration? Every day, confusion of life, attacks you do not know about. Today, you are human, tomorrow, dead. Strange sickness upon your life. Anything they have done negatively upon your destiny, upon the family you are coming from, is it ancestral deity that is still speaking against you? Is it whatever clandestine covenant they entered without your consent? Is it your ancestors that did this? Whatever they did on your behalf, we are standing at this altar of the supreme deity. Our Lord Jesus the Savior. The man who continues to judge the world by the power.
power of what he did on the cross. We are undoing whatever they have done against you. Have they planned death upon your family? We are reversing it by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Have they written failure upon your destiny? Whatever they have done, wherever they have taken your name to, we are introducing the efficacy of the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Any occult woman or man that is standing against you, from this sanctuary, we are releasing fire. Anybody under the hegemony, under the bondage of any demon, any power that is not of God, from this sanctuary of the Most High God, I don't know the last time you have tested favor in your life. You have tested miracle in your life. I'm standing by the authority of the priesthood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth to open the floodgates of miracles upon your life. We are letting open that ancient gate of the enemy that has locked you down, that has locked you up, that has held you down. We stand by the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth to unlock these gates in the name of Jesus. The ancient gate will be let loose and your liberation and deliverance will come unto you. Wherever your spirit is and it is not in safe hands, we are sending the fire of the Holy Ghost from this altar. We are declaring favor upon you. Amen. Any child of God that is under the control of the wicked devil. Let there be transformative power of the Holy Ghost upon your life. Amen. May you be ushered in into the power of God's presence. Amen. We invoke the Holy Spirit, our helper. Come and help your children. Those abroad, those here, all the members of this international sanctuary. Let the Holy Spirit assign a powerful angel that will accompany you this time round. Michael is coming down with a great arrow of battle. And any demon that will be there to stand on the way. Michael the archangel is going to bring him down in Jesus' name. Amen. Holy God, come down, come down, we need you. Holy God, come down, come down. Daddy, come down, come down, we need you. Holy Ghost, come down, come down, we need you. Mansa, be cold, be out, be out, need I pao. Mansa, be cold, be be cold, be so be cold, be out, be out, I need a check. Monsa, be out, be out, I need a check. I couldn't ever yam, Jemon, be out, I need a yam. Monsa, be out, be out, I need a check. 
Visit this your children. Because help them and threaten them. We have our problems, we have our plights. We have dangers that confront us on a daily basis. And you know how helpless we are. If you do not protect us, Lord, who we do? Because you we are at your mercy. Because you I got the new ragabazu. I'm a chamber, I'm a taro. A ketchiki, habia zuruna bale. A desego fu. I'm bossaya. O fumo jabiano chie. Oko, 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 oko. How did a boy crab on a hand? Undinina, Maripa, Undiana Barambon. A sonana Barambon. A zuru papa. I talk with you, Mama. I talk with you, Fumwa. Eh, every man does senator. I bara kubo kuni sindia. I bara dadi kubo kuni sindia. I omere no be ya kubo kuni sun. Ndi anona sobu di etwa. Ndi amu wuna chugar. Ira ora gino ye ora wanoro. Ira ora inoro na village stagnancy. Undini na 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 doa. Mansa kunye kunye diken. Papa biko kunye. Daddy biko kunye. Biko kunye gabaro mga agwa. Unwero unwero unwe. Unda na na rihe anike. Igora na 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 ya na hinike. Hey, ainare mansa chuk. 
Nada, I am Gibuka. Jeez, I'll give you a crutch. If you are a key, maybe I call the queens. Welcome you, His Heavenly Majesty, the Commander in Chief of all the Army Forces in heaven and on earth, the Commander General of every power in the water, in the court world, and also in the heavens, the Lieutenant General of Heavenly Forces. We welcome your glory and your power upon your people here. Some have come with cancers. From now onwards, let this cancer disappear. Amen. From the power of the Holy Ghost, may this cancer be stolen away. Brothers and sisters, that we may celebrate this sacred mysteries worthily. Let us call to mind that we are sinners and ask God for mercy and pardon. You were sent to heal the contract of hearts. I am sorry, Lord. I am sorry, Lord. I am sorry, Lord. I am sorry, Lord Jesus. I am sorry, Lord Jesus. I am sorry, Lord Father. I am sorry, Lord. I am sorry, Lord. We are sorry, Lord. We are sorry, Lord. We are sorry, Lord. We are sorry, Lord, Daddy. I am sorry, Lord. I am sorry, Lord. I am sorry, Lord. I am sorry, Lord. We are sorry, Jesus. We are sorry, Daddy. We are sorry, Lord. We are sorry, Lord, Savior. I am sorry, Lord. Jesus. I am sorry, Lord. I am sorry, Lord. I am sorry, Lord. You came to call sinners. Abu Major Bahara. Abu mo majoro bahara o. Abu mo majoro bahara. Abu mo majoro bahara. Abu mo choro ko bahara. Abu mo majoro bahara o. Abu mo majoro bahara. Abu mo majoro bahara. 
the father to intercede for us na kaboya is a kaboya yo joni na imere megi de go kaboya o kwa joni na inkuru ku gide go kaboya jesus kaboya Ask for mercy. 
Open your mouth and ask for this. Whenever we lift our hands to pray, the scripture says, what I see is nothing but sin. And God cannot behold iniquity. Ask for mercy. He's a compassionate God. Your journey, Kaboya, Jesus. I've come to deal with our sins. Have mercy upon our foundation. Have mercy upon our foundation and set us free from power of sin. May his mercy replace whatever judgment he would have placed upon us through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May the paraclet who proceed from you, we pray. O oh Lord, enlighten our minds and lead us into all truth, just as your Son has promised, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. In those days, when Elijah came to Horeb, the Mount of God, he lodged in a cave, and behold, the word of the Lord came to him. And he said, Go forth and stand upon the mount before the Lord. And behold, the Lord passed by. And a great and strong wind tore the mountains and broke in pieces the rocks before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. And after the wind, an earthquake. But the Lord was not in the earthquake. And after the earthquake, a fire. But the Lord was not in the fire. And after the fire, a still small voice. And when Elijah heard it, he wrapped his face in his mantle and went out and stood at the entrance of the cave. And behold, there came a voice to him and said, What are you doing here, Elijah? He said, I have been very jealous for the Lord, the God of hosts. For the sons of Israel have forsaken your covenant, thrown down your altars, and slain your prophets with the sword. And I, even I only, am left. And they seek my life to take it away. And the Lord said to him, Go. Return on your way to the wilderness of Damascus, and when you arrive, you shall anoint Hazel to be king over Syria, and Jehu, the son of Nimshi, you shall anoint to be king over Israel, and Elisha, the son of Shaphat, of Elbel Mehola, you shall anoint to be prophet in your place. The word of the Lord. It is your face, O Lord, that I seek. It is your face, O Lord, that I seek. 
It is your face, O Lord, that I see. It is your face, O Lord, that I see. It is your face, O Lord, that I see. Your face, O Lord, that I see. It is your face, O oh Lord, that I see. Your
Nasi no zama de aso, nke matu dere. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said, You shall not commit adultery. But I say to you that everyone who looks at a woman lustfully has already committed adultery with her in his heart. If your right eye causes you to sin, pluck it out and throw it away. It is better that you lose one of your members than that your, that your whole body be thrown into hell. And if your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off and throw it away. It is better that you lose one of your members than that your whole body go into hell. It was also said, whoever divorces his wife, let him give her a certificate of divorce. But I say to you that everyone who divorces his wife, except on the ground of unchastity, makes her an adulteress. And whoever marries a divorced woman commits adultery. O ziamanko seboroa O tito di regi Christi Ta insinu no zaman kainu rungwe tambo aranjo Amen O muchine ke to Jesus, Igwe. Jesus, Igwe. I'm going to marry Jesus so to you. Maduni Nenasi, Ebube. Ebube Chineke Marama. Aha, Momo Nasi. Every <laughs> Tu kwa ni ne pere de kwa ma Madu ni ne na si ebube Ebube da de mo marama marama u Ebube 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 Eke marama Ne ne ku ebube 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 Everybody, everybody, Jesus, we are Baba, Kine menka, Kenny, we are not 
Can an unborn on a sanctuary? Anna Maria Candimos Burumpawa Gabon and Sinon of your boy. What you could buy a one? Oh, you make a decade, oh, a decade. I want a moon and no be. I want to Ako bere no be bu makamunu Ota bara chuku no be bu makamunu Onta kuru dike no be bu makamunu Onwere ndi choro ku kwansa Kene ya ko be awo pu ya na ya ke Onwere zunu no choro nche ko be Anye kene zunu na Anye kene chuku ni se zunu na Iyeni na bi ti make awe bia ka na abu abu ekene eni we mere gia na jesus ndi di me na ra nu nche ko be ndi di me na abu na ra nche ko be na ri ki ge ti we mo nwa ndi mo zi na ro ge okere kere no ga iyo na me na bali aya di gibe Whatever that is happening this night, let it be permanent. Amen. Wave your hands unto him. Oh, rebirth it. Reversa, reversa. Reversa, peripetea. Suku megari wiye ni ne menando. Holiness of life. 
Oh, yeah. We worship. Upon our students, upon our students, receive power to overcome your academic challenges. Any of you in fear, our Lord Jesus Christ is coming to you now. He's taking away your fear. Receive power of valor. Power to conquer. Ah, Abu Bansa, sit there and Abu Ama. Ah, 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 ah,
Jesus I'm not going to spend time anymore on the way, but get it right. What I intend to do is to bring you into the presence of the Almighty God. The message of this night is about how you can assess the presence of the Almighty. A2. Obike, power of his presence. Can lie that you will bang back up, bara. Elisha, matadi kedina his presence. Owe natike, you receive the power of his presence, and his life became something else. If you have listened to the word of God, you hear how God asked Elijah to go and wait on him. That Elijah should go and wait on him on the mountain of the Lord, mountain Horeb. Because you are on mountain Horeb, which is this international sanctuary. You are going to carry God's presence. Yeah. Your family is going to be overwhelmed with the presence of the Almighty God. Yeah. And what does that mean? It means a reversal of identity. Anything at all in that family that does not give God glory is going to be taken away. And Elijah was told, go and wait for me. The first thing that appeared was a powerful wind. Wind from the Lord. And you remember, you know what wind symbolizes. Wind symbolizes the presence of the Holy Spirit. And the wind symbolizes also in John chapter 3 verse 8. The power of repentance, New life. New life. It is this Holy Spirit that brings in, that introduces new light, new births, salvation power. What the scripture wants to present to us are the stages a child of God will pass through in order to come into God's presence. It's not something that can take you just a day. It's not something that may take two days. It's not something that may take one month. It can even take months. It can take even years. Depending on how eager you are to play by the rules and the precepts of the living God. The same wind was the wind that came and showed up when the apostles were waiting on the day of Pentecost. The first thing that appeared was a rush of mighty wind. The same wind appeared and Elijah looked up. He could not find God. This stage has gone. So, child of God, whenever we talk about new birth, we are talking about your baptism. Baptism is not enough. When you are baptized, you are baptized when you have received baptism, it means you have been welcomed into the family of God. It's one thing to come into a family and another thing to have something to in the family. And also to carry authority and power 
in the family. So it is one thing to become a baptized Christian and another thing to have a rank in the kingdom you have found yourself. There are some who are just baptized, but they do not know anything they are doing in the kingdom they say they have been baptized into. So this is another important message, important stage. But you are not meant to remain there. After the baptism, after the rebirth, you have to grow. You have to grow. If you don't know it, and as you are moving, there will be tribulations, there will be hurdles on the way. Oh, this is the stage that will lead you into the second stage, which is the stage of earthquake. Earthquake means that demons are, are going to come against you. Enemies, even those you call friends, even those you think are the Christians you should emulate, all of a sudden, turn and begin to say every kind of thing against your faith, even against you. And when you go back to your bed, you begin to think, how is it that this person I have been looking up to is behaving this way? Is even accusing me? How is it that even my own wife does not believe in what I say? How is it that even my husband is turning accusing figure against me? Child of God, what you are passing through is a necessary stage. This is a stage of confusion. A stage where you begin to ask many questions. Whether God is still with you or not. Child of God, the word of God says you have to wait. Just as Elijah waited. And when this time passed, Elijah could not assess God's presence. And another thing that came was fire. Purification. Fire symbolizes the presence of the Holy Spirit. You remember what happened? In, that in Exodus chapter 23 verse 20 when the Israelites will be moving during the day there will be a cloud of glory that will be leading them but at night fire will appear this fire is God's presence and in the presence of God the pillar of fire was leading them in the desert as the pillar of fire was leading them they were following and this fire is the same fire that Isaiah received in Isaiah chapter 6 verse 3. Immediately Isaiah came one on one in the presence of God. Oh, he cried, what to me, who am I to behold the presence of Almighty God? I am dead, who am I, a sinner like me? And immediately he cried for help. Help me, Lord, I am dead. And when Isaiah cried this way, an angel of God was released for him. And this angel was carrying a burning coal, a fire. And immediately he touched Isaiah's mouth. And Isaiah became a transformed person. Isaiah received a new identity. There was what we call a reversal of identity. What we call peripeteia in Greek. Isaiah's history was changed. And immediately he was taken into the council of the living God. Isaiah was listening to what was taking place in heaven. Child of God, I'm praying this night that an angel is going to carry fire unto your destiny. Yeah. Unto your family. Angel of God is going to come with fire. This fire is going to purify you and I. And from there, will be all shining into his presence. And it was after this fire purification, after the fire, then came a gentle breeze. There came a gentle breeze. And that was when the voice of God echoed. And what does that mean? After you have stood your ground, waiting in prayer, waiting in prayer and asking God to help you. Every day you pray, in the morning you pray, anything you do you pray. It's not a prayer of five decades of rosary. It's not a prayer of 10 decades of rosary. You can pray more than 20. Don't say you don't have time for God. Don't say because of your, your business, therefore you can't pray. One of them said he doesn't have time, she doesn't have time for God. And when demon remembered her, she was struck blind. The child of God, don't say that you have you don't have honest sinner child. 
Asina ni inwe ro time for God. Abu ni inwe ro chigi ohere. Konyi inwe ziro ohere. Iche no abu nye kambo, kambo ambo kaka gosi. Abu no nye kambo, oni zina chade ma. You can pray and pray and carry his presence. The little effort you will go and make. The two hours, three hours, four hours, you will appear on your shop. Customers will be lining up and waiting and calling you and asking you, where are you, where are you? We have been waiting for you. And you be, they will begin to ask what is happening. That this man is not regular in the shop. But any time he appears, customers will be waiting. Child of God, the secret is waiting in his presence. The secret is carrying his presence. You remember what happened to Daniel in Daniel chapter 6. Daniel was a man of prayer who waited on the Lord. And one particular day, he was made in charge of some group in Persia. Dairos saw an unusual skill, unusual ability in Daniel. Everything about Daniel was flourishing. And the other colleagues, because for the moon, I'm a row. No, right, 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 no, now go say mad. On we rendu chuo kaja, chuo kaja. Ordinary rules they could go away. Emma, Emma, ro. Now, what is the world is all about sacrifice? Sacrifice. Our own sacrifice is sacrifice of prayer. Ihi ne mi maroto saga. Have you tarried in His presence? And they went and concord cooked allegation against her. Daniel and went to King Darius and told King Darius that we want everybody in this kingdom to bow down only to you. If anybody should disobey it, let that person be thrown into the den of lion. Uh, and uh, the decree was made, the edict was spread all over the kingdom, and they thought that they would catch Daniel. Every plan, every plot, every scheme was to hold Daniel down. But they did not know that Daniel was carrying the government of heaven. They did not know that Daniel was carrying the presence of God Almighty. They do not know that even Dairos is under the power of God Almighty. That even the whole kingdom is to the power of God Almighty. And in Psalm 24, verse 1 says, The earth and all it contains are your works, O Lord. And Daniel, when Daniel came to hear of the decree, the edict of the king of Persia, he maximized his prayer. He would turn to Jerusalem, open his window, and began to pray, and began to groan in prayer, and began to weep in prayer, and began to call upon the God of Moses. He began to call upon God of Elijah. He began to call upon God of Elisha. And one of the days they came and saw him pray, they reported to the king. And the king ordered that Daniel would be thrown into the den of lion. And when Daniel was thrown into the den of lion, they were waiting the other day to come and see Daniel killed. But they did not know that even inside that den of lion, God's presence was there. The presence of God went and sealed the mouth of lion. I want to tell you, child of God, if you can only wait in prayer like Daniel. The scripture says that Daniel prayed during the morning. He prayed during the afternoon and prayed even in the night. Remember, it was the same Daniel that was praying, fasting for 21 days. And when his prayer was answered, and an angel was bringing that prayer. And one mighty prince of Pesha went and stopped the angel. Let me tell you. The mystery you do not know about our worship. You know, most of the battles we do, most of the battles that happen in the spirit are between angels and angels. You become a winner only when Jesus himself stands up. Or blessed Virgin Mary stands up to enter into the battle. Most of the... Jesus does not fight with what he created. Jesus doesn't fight. He, the victory has been won. 
So when he appears, demon surrenders. Demon says, I'm lawyer. He doesn't make arguments before him. If demon wants to present your accusation, he will appear so humble. So humble and so obedient to God. And because, uh, my Lord, you will address him as my Lord. Oh. That, you know, this, this person, so, so, so they did this and did that. And he claims to be one of you. And this is how we will accuse you. And if you do not have a helper before the court of heaven, he will present it that way and go. And uh, they will take notice of it and come back for you. But if you have a helper, if you have made one of the angels your helper, if your prayer is always ascending to king of glory, I want to tell you, child of God, uh, immediately he comes up with his accusation. The mighty power of one of the angels will also arise and say, no, I know of this one. I know him. He has been a faithful servant. The same thing was the case of Joshua. Joshua was a mighty man of valor. A man who won every battle he entered into. Only for him to appear in the kingdom of God. And devil came with his accusation. It was through the help of another angel. In Zechariah 3 verse 3. Another angel was by the side. And immediately they presented that uh, accusation. This angel said, they said, look at him. He, he's wearing a, a fetal garment. And the angel said, no, I know him. That uh, Joshua is one of us. He's, only, he's just coming back from battle. Let us take away the, ba the battle garment. And immediately the battle garment was removed. He was given a new garment. Child of God, any day they will bring accusation upon you. May this angel arise and speak for you. Yeah. Anna Mayoka, mighty angel of God, Soroge Kaba. Man, I want to give a deacon a better. Give a deacon a better. You know the end of the story of Daniel. That uh, the lion that would have come to devour Daniel became Daniel's security. Eh, ande bari bo Daniel e bidoze chweze yanche. Ande ani ne ne me ayachuge ke da chora sina age bo ezuno nage. Ha ge me chanando ha no wa we ko akuku yama chuku mere nando ge. Let me tell you, umbi ge nye the Thanksgiving. I can hear where you went. Mana because na ma ma ocha ge si we simba na ma nje. Ha ge soro ge bi ano lo anso we toro chuku mama. Be be ma chuku ana ye mere nye be. I be be ri di aso i ya di ma aso for the prayer of the righteous one. Adores greatly in the presence of God. So, child of God, stand up. Let me pray for you. As we celebrate, we join our Lord Jesus, the Savior, as He celebrates again this sacrifice of the altar. Whatever they have done against your family, whatever they have done against my family, wherever they have gathered to bring up accusation against you, I am issuing fire. I'm standing by the authority of the priesthood of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth to cancel any negative decree they have made upon your life. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And from this altar, let God overshadow you with his praises. May you go with God's praises. In anything you do, may God's praises accompany you. In your academic endeavor, may God's presence accompany you. Where you are walking, God's presence. In your family, God's presence. In your marital life, God's presence. Are you single? May God give you the right partner. I declare favor. I declare favor upon you and your family. I declare favor upon you and your family. May the favor and the miracles of the living God and may the word of God in Isaiah chapter 8 verse 18 be true upon you. Amen. You and your family will be for signs and wonders in Jesus' name. Amen. May his grace never lack in your life. Amen. It is well with you. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit.